welcome to another episode of Friend Outdoors. On today's episode, Walter and Mark are in the timber on the edge of a field at daylight with their decoy set out in front of them. As dawn approaches, the guys hear a big gobbler in the bowl to their left. He gobbles a few times, but as daylight comes, the bird flies down and heads in the other direction. They believe he's following hens. But as luck would have it, the guys make a few more tree calls and have a group of gobblers to sound off within a few hundred yards of their position, just off the point in front of them. So the guys wait to make sure that the toms are definitely on the ground before they begin to call more frequently. It sounds like the birds might be headed their way. Here's what happens. Notice the dominant posture that this lead jake is displaying. There's some very good clucking and purring vocalizations coming up.
as we sit here watching this amazing show, we can't forget that there's three Longbeards gobbling, showing some interest. We're hoping that one of them will slip in on us. I think this Jake is desperately trying to get this decoy to move here.
so far this morning. We've had a long beard in this holler to our left. He's flew down, gone the other way, we think with hens. We had four jigs come in to the decoys. We've got a big one goblin to our right, a few hundred yards away. He has answered me, so hopefully he's heading this way. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Here's a quick recap of this hunt. On this particular hunt, we knew that there were turkeys in this particular area. We had an idea where we thought that they'd be roosted, but we didn't know if they was there. So we went in in the dark, we set up the decoys, we got our blind set up, and we just waited on this ridge, this narrow ridge. As we sit there and daylight approached, we heard a big bird in the bowl slightly to our left. He gobbled a few times. Then we could tell a bird was gobbling the way that we'd come in. Eventually we heard some birds gobbling right in front of us. And that's when those jakes come up that road and come right into the decoys. And boy, did they put on a show. We hope you enjoyed that. That's not something that you see every day. It was pretty exciting to watch. As we was sitting there filming that, and that sequence probably went on about 35 minutes or so that I actually filmed it. So we cut a lot of it out. I could look out the blind to my left into the field behind us and there was two long beards out there with five or six hens and as you saw they would answer me once in a while but there was no reason for them to come over there they had exactly what they wanted right there the bird to our right he did answer me four or five times throughout the morning probably so once the jakes left we just sit there and called occasionally i could watch the big ones in the field most of the morning with the hens they were just following them around they weren't coming our way so eventually, once the birds left the field behind us, it was getting closer to end of legal shooting time. We decided to head out just a little early. And as we moved down there, we got to a position where I made some calls and cut and the bird gobbled the lowest that we'd been hearing that morning. He gobbled one time. So we tried to set up quickly and get in a good position, but he never did show up. So he possibly had hens with him also. By this time, it was time for us to quit hunting. So we packed up our stuff and we snuck out of there to come back and hunt a different day. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please hit that like button. We really appreciate it. Subscribe to our channel. It doesn't cost you anything. If you got any comments, leave them below. We'll try to answer them. Also, if you get some time, we've got several shorts on our channel. Under the shorts tab, check that out. A lot of different animals on there. Most of these shorts are 15 seconds or just a few that's a little longer. We think you'll really like that. We want to thank all of our military personnel, thank you for your service. Now for a preview of our next episode of Friend Outdoor Adventures.